Beltane is one of the cross-quarter days known as fire festivals. Fire festivals occur at the exact midpoints in the Celtic calendar between the solstices and the equinoxes. The name Beltane means great fire, reflecting the fact that this has long been regarded as a sacred fire festival in Irish culture. Fire festivals have a fascinating history, and many of the old traditions surrounding them continue to this day. If we look at the Celtic calendar, or the Wheel of the Year, we see that Beltane occurs exactly halfway between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. This same time of year also happens to be the exact halfway point to Samhain, or Halloween, in the Celtic year which has not only played a prominent role in Germanic and Teutonic customs, we find that they play a role in the development of many traditions for Beltane in Ireland as well. The classic symbol associated with Beltane is the maypole, a symbol of fertility and the promise of spring. Maypoles appear to be Germanic in origin, but historic documents reveal that they were in Britain by the 14th to 15th century, and then arrived later in Ireland around the 16th to 17th century. In a typical maypole dance, there are usually two circles of dancers, all holding multicolored ribbons tied to the top of the pole itself. One circle moves sunwise or clockwise, the other moving anti-clockwise, or against the sun. The steps of the dancers represent life and death, creation and destruction, creating elaborate decorations with ribbons on the maypole as the dancers wind their way through the step. One particular maypole of note in Ireland is the Holywood Maypole. Located at the crossroads of Holywood in County Down since 1620, it is the oldest recorded maypole in Ireland. Legend states that when a crew of Dutch traders was shipwrecked there, the citizens of Holywood gave their assistance and hospitality to them. The crew, in return, gifted the ship's mast to the town as a token of gratitude. Although it has been repaired and replaced through the centuries, the pride in maintaining the tradition has remained for over 400 years. Flowers have always played a part in Beltane tradition. The gathering and picking of flowers on Beltane morning was a common custom. The yellow petals of gorse, primrose, and firs were used to scatter on the thresholds of homes to ensure that fairies would bring luck to the home. Folklore says that fairies like yellow flowers best. Fairies were especially busy around this time of year. Perhaps you might see them dancing in the moonlight. They might leave fairy rings in your lawn in the fields. They would help your garden to grow, so it became customary to leave them offerings such as milk, honey, butter, or whiskey so they would help you throughout the growing season. Milk, butter, and dairy were appropriate offerings for fairies. These were regarded as signs of wealth, and that brought another hazard, and that was witches. Witches were known to roam about in Beltane, and they would steal butter and milk, even salt, it was important then that witches be kept away. Witches were cunning. Irish tradition states that they were shape-shifting hags. When they shape-shifted, they typically took the form of a hare. Due to their magical capabilities, they were impervious to weapons. The only weapons that had any effect were silver or quicksilver. Numerous Beltane tales exist of hares believed to be witches that were injured but not killed. For example, a hare's leg might be injured by someone only to hop off. Upon arriving back to the village, an old hag would appear with the same leg injury that the hare suffered from. So, milk, butter, and salt were specially guarded on Beltane. It was only on that day of the year that they could not be given or loaned away, or else the luck and profit of your farm could go with it, if the witches didn't get to it first. Another thing used to keep witches away was the May bush. This was the bringing of tree branches indoors and to decorate them with ribbons, pieces of cloth, and colored eggshells. Much like the Teutonic tradition of bringing in boughs of evergreen into the home at Yule, which led to the modern custom of the Christmas tree, this was intended to guard against bad luck and evil influences. The branches could also be placed over doorways and windows to keep witches away. 
The may bush could be a plant, bush, or small tree that was planted on private or public property and decorated per regional custom. Some of these were maintained for generations. Flowers were also tied to the bridles of horses, to the manes and tails of cows, and tied to the butter churns. Hawthorn had special status on Beltane. This was the only day of the year that it was lucky to bring Hawthorn into the home. As one of the sacred trees, it was considered to be very unlucky on all other days to bring it indoors. As mentioned before, Beltane is one of the cross-quarter days, one of the fire festivals. As a time of renewal, the flames represent a fresh start for everyone. In ancient Ireland, a great fire was lit at Ishnach in County Meath. The elevation of Ishnak meant that the fire here could be seen from surrounding regions. Once the great bonfire was lit at Ishnak on Beltane night, other surrounding towns and villages would light their own bonfires, illuminating the countryside with these festival flames. It was much like the lighting of the beacons in the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, but more importantly, it signified that the Beltane feasting was officially underway. To this day, several large Beltane fire festivals are held all over the Celtic lands.